Hello, welcome, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. Today I have something amazing to share. Look, I make this show using some pentagons and I made this beautiful poncho and I combined it into different colors. I think it looks so beautiful, it's perfect for a beach cover up or for any other occasion, right? But we'll remember that before we start it's important that we subscribe and then I will give you the material list. Well, for this unisize poncho, we will use 300 grams in this pear and 200 grams in this salmon color, okay? I will use this light material, it's number three, and I will use the hook of three and a half millimeters. Look at the weight. So it's basically the same that I have been using in the last videos, right? And the hook. And remember, this is a unisize poncho. Well, let's start. Well, we will make the poncho with pentagons, right? So we will start making first five chains with one thread and with our hook. Then we will close in circle. Like this, we are going to slip one. And then we will go up with one, two, three chains, okay? And one more that we are going to make between each double crochet, okay? So then we will make the next double crochet. We will make this double crochet of three crochet. Okay, and remember the chain between each double crochet. And like this, we are going to continue making 12 double crochet and between them one chain, remember. Well, so far we have one, two, three, and four. So we must have 12 at the end. Let's continue. Well, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And we will finish with one chain and we are going to slip one to close. So then we will leave this coloring hold and then we will use the next color. In this case, my combination goes with this salmon color. So we will insert the hook and take the color right away and from here we will start taking the stitch you see and we didn't cut so that that's important here in the back we are going to make a knot just to make sure that this will last forever <laughs> okay then we will keep the white thread in the back and then we will continue with this sal salmon color well we will go up with this salmon color with three chains then inside this space where we make the chain, remember, we are going to make double crochets and we will leave the last looping hole. So here we have two and three. Once we have three in hole, we are going to bring them through and one chain to close and then two chains more. And we will go to the next space and again we will repeat three double crochet, leave it in, leave in the last looping hole. And when we have all of them there, we are going to bring them through. Like this, we are going to repeat the whole row. Then one, two, three chains, and then we will go to the next space. One chain to close, and then two more between each petal. You see? Well, at the end, we must have 12 petals in each space. Well, look, at the end, we will have something like this. It is important that we count 12 okay because then when we realize we have more or less so please always make sure so we must have 12 we will finish the row with two chains then we are going to slip one to close here in the top of the first petal and this is the end of this row we are going to cut this color now and then we will come back and use the white color remember that we keep this thread in the back well we are going to take it in the back and we will take the stitch like this you see then we will uh, hide this uh, thread behind and we will keep it there we are going to make a single crochet and from there we will start with six chains and then in the next wave we are going to make a single crochet again six chains and in the space a single crochet well, like this, we are going to continue making these arches in all the spaces with six chains, okay? So, see you at the end.
Well, here where we make the single crochet is where we are going to slip one to close. Please make sure that you have all the arches and all the waves in the spaces. So we will have something like this. Then with the same color we are going to slip one and well here we will start the next row. We will go up with three chains and then here inside this space we are going to make two double crochet more, remember, of three crochet. Then one, two chains and again in this space we are going to make three double crochet of three crochet, okay? And then here we have one shell. So you see in between them we make two chains, then three chains and then we will go to the next space and make single crochet, then three chains and then here we will repeat the shell. And we are going to alternate one single crochet and one shell and remember that between the double crochet two chains and between shells we are going to make three chains like this the whole row. Well, at the end we must have six shells like this and well here we will finish the row with uh, three chains and we are going to slip one to close and here we finish the first pentagon, you see? Then we will cut and we will make a knot like this. Well now we are going to make one more pentagon and see you at the end in the last row to teach you how we are going to join. Well I made the pentagon, I followed the same instructions and I started to make the last row and I only make two shells and, a, and the half of the third shell so right there in the half we are going to join it with the other side of the first pentagon and then we will come back to this pentagon to complete the second part of the shell you see, then three chains we will make single crochet in the next space, then again three chains and we will make the first half of the shell and then when we are we are going to make one chain and then we are going to join with the other shell of the, of the first pentagon right there in the middle of the last of the shell, okay? and then we will come back and complete the shell of the pentagon that we are making so like this is how we are going to join you see we join two pentagons and here we are going to leave it open to make this diamond and then we will continue and then if you want you can make more pentagons and join them in the same way but first we have to organize okay in the next one we are going to join one pentagon here so we are going to join uh, below but first we are going to make one strip of four pentagons and then in the bottom we are going to join three well I did get ahead I want to show you what I have made so far I love the combination also you can f use the same technique and make a blouse or make a baby blanket I think it will be so pretty it will be an amazing idea if you use the same technique but well I, also you can change the combination if you want, right? But well, remember I told you that we uh, were about to make a strip with four, okay? So this is basically what we should make. First a strip of four and then in the bottom we join three pentagons, you see? This is where we should be. And we join here in these corners, we join three times and then in the sides two and then in the other sides three and then two. Like this is how we are going to join first uh, three corners and then in the rest we are going to join four corners, you see? So we will have something like this, okay? And we have to organize to join the corners. So here we join two with this two and then this one with this last two and then we join like this, okay? So we have to organize and to see how we are going to join them and we are going to make strips. First we are going to make three, then we will have four. Just let me open the screen. So you see we have one strip of three, then with four, then again with three. And like this we are going to join. For now, just let me count how many strips I join to know the width of the poncho. For now, just let me count them.
Well, I already count the strips and I have 14, okay? I, I joined 14 strips and look, this part is very important, okay? Here in the bottom, we will have these irregular spaces, right? But here in the top for the neck, we are going to make this part straight. So we will have to make some pentagons but just the half of the shape you see so we can have this part straight well for this uh, side we will have to make one two three and four half pentagons well now i will make the one that it's missing i will make the fourth pentagon that i have to make to show you how we are going to make it but well for now if you haven't finished the 14 strips we'll finish them and then we will make the half pentagons for the neck well to make just the half of the pentagons we will start the same okay like we started we will make five chains we will close in circle this will be the center of of pentagon well just the half of it then we will go up with three chains with one chain between each double crochet remember and we are going to continue making double crochet of three crochet so like this we are going to make we will make ten four five six seven eight nine and ten okay so this will be the first part so remember that we will leave this color in half and now with the salmon color we are going to make the next row so we will start here remember to have to make all the this stitch facing to the right side so that's why we are going to start here so we will take the stitch and we will go up with three chains and then in the next space we are going to make a double crochet remember that we are going to make three double crochet okay we will leave the last looping hold one chain then two chains and then in the next space the next three double crochet as you could notice we made at the beginning of the row one double crochet this will be for the edge so at the end we must have seven petals okay with uh, one chain to close the petals and with two chains between them like this the whole row okay well we will have seven petals okay we will finish with one chain and then here we are going to make the last uh, double crochet for the edge and like this we will finish to use this color we are going to cut and now that we leave this um, thread this white thread in the back we are going to take it again and then we will continue with the rest of the stitch so well here uh, we are about to start with the row of waves remember so like we have the thread here we are going to start the row in this side so we are going to slip one and this is how I slip through the chains and here I will make a single crochet to start the row I will go up with one, two, three, four, five, six chains, and then in the next space a single crochet. Again, six chains, and in the next space, single crochet, and like this, the whole row. Well, at the end, we must have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven waves, right? Well, once we are about to start with this row, we are going to join it with the rest okay with the rest of the punch so here in this space is where we need to join the half of the pentagon right so here we are about to make the row of shells and waves so here in this corner we are just only going to make the second part of the shell okay to complete so we are going to make three chains and join here in the corner we are going to slip one and then we will come back we will make one chain and here we are going to make the second part of the shell so we will make three double crochet then one chain 
sorry, three chains, and then the wave single crochet in the next space, then three chains, and right here we are going to make the second shell, so we are going to make three double crochet, then one chain, and then we will join it here in this corner. You see how we make the diamond right here? And then we will join here and here, and we will repeat Okay, remember that while we join, we are completing and we are making the rest of the stitch. So here we are going to make the shell, the second part of the shell, three double crochet, and then we will make the two waves, and three chains, single crochet, then three chains, and then in the next space, the third shell, and remember, when we are about to make the second part of this shell, is where we are going to join, like we made in the last corner, remember? So here we are going to insert the hook, slip one, make one chain, and then make the rest of the shell. And like this is how we are going to join all the half pentagons, you see? It is so easy, it is the same, we just make the half. Okay, so then three chains to make the wave. Sorry, here we are going to almost finish and we are going to repeat what we make at the beginning. We will finish with one chain and then we are going to slip one and then right here we are going to make the last double crochet of the edge. It's very important. So, like this is how we finish, do you see? This is, uh, remember that at the beginning we made three chains and here at the end we are going to make the last double crochet. So like this uh, we are going to join and please hide all these threads and this will be uh, the, the neck. So now we have all, the, all this side straight. And well this is the width of the poncho that I like for the neck because I like to have like a little bit of the shoulder. So for now I will join the edge just a bit of the shoulder and then the rest will be open. So I will I already mark it with some markers. I will use the same stitch to join. I will show you. I also I will get a head. I will make it and then I will show you how it looks. And then um, if you want if you can close more or less. It will depend on you, but I thought, as I told you, I want that a little bit of the shoulder. And if you want here in the bottom, you can make also the half pentagons, but I think that here in the bottom, it looks good like this, like irregular, okay? So for now, just let me finish, and I will show you. I have homework to, to do. <laughs> well, I will show you, okay? Uh, this is what I made and here I make the half, this will be the neck, so four, I made four half, so this will be for the neck and then uh, I will show you one, two, three, four, five, six strips for the front and six strips for the back then, so we have twelve plus this extra strip, so we have 13, so at the end, instead of 14, we use 13, okay? And remember here we made the half, and I made this one extra, so I could join this, the back and the front, okay? So here I made this one, and I joined here also, I just make a, some stitches here to join, and this will be for the shoulder. Well. Uh, this will be for the shoulder, okay? Well, uh, you will decide the width of the neck. In this case, I like to leave it open because I like to have like off the shoulder poncho. I suggest that before you try on and see if you like the width of the neck or no, okay? If you don't, well, in this rows of double crochet that we are going to make, sorry, of single crochet, you will uh, reduce a bit. But in this case, I think that I won't reduce but well, later I will show you how we are going to make the last row of the edge and this side will be open, okay? 
and well here this side it's closed because this is where I folded so here it's opened and also I join just here a bit for the shoulder and then the rest is open too. Well I will show you in the mannequin how it looks so you can have a better idea but for now let's continue first with the neck. Well uh, as I told you you will decide the width of the neck. In this case I won't reduce too much but you will decide. If you want to reduce well you are going to skip some spaces. We are going to make a row of single crochet. I think that I will make uh, three or two rows I will see and uh, also if you feel that you didn't reduce too much in the first row well in the second row you can reduce even more okay but you will decide for now let's finish first this row and let's see well look this is how it looks I finished I made two rows of single crochet and I think it's beautiful I wanted to keep it simple so that's why I will just make two rows of single crochet and that's it well then please hide all the loose threads that you may have with martini needle and then we are ready to continue with the bottom so see you there well I made some picots also I want to keep it simple and fancy and beautiful so I will come back a bit so I can teach you what I made so I made uh, six chains one two three four five and six and then I come back and in the third I insert the hook and make a single crochet and like this is how I made the picot then three chains and I insert the hook here in the joint and then I make a slip one okay I join here here in the middle of the shell then in the joint and like this is how I made this stitch okay at the end we are going to iron with a steam using a protection under and I suggest you put some pins to adjust and to put the stitch that you want it to be exactly okay because remember that once you iron that's it okay it will look like this forever <laughs> Well, what do you think? I hope that you have enjoyed making this poncho with me. Sorry that I didn't show you how it looked in the mannequin, but I think that it looks better here, right? So look at the back. I love how it looks. You can wear it in many different ways. If you want, you can wear one of the uh, triangles here in front and have the second one in the back. But well, it's up to you. I think that this stitch and this technique is amazing. As I told you, you can make a baby blanket, you can make a vest, you can make a blouse, you can make a lot of things. So please, if you make one of these ideas, please let me know. Take a picture and tag me. But well, don't forget to follow me on my social media and Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and of course here in YouTube. It's completely free. So you just click the red button here below and you are subscribed thank you so much and see you soon thank you and take care bye